boys and girls, things might look a little different behind me. And that's because for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be hearing stories from the other children's worship room. Did you know that all of our children's worship stories come from two books? This is what our two books look like. This one's called Young Children and Worship. And those are the stories that you've been hearing over the last few weeks. This book is Following Jesus. Today's story comes from the Following Jesus book. But other than there being two different books, things are going to be pretty much the same. But I am ready to welcome you and get started with our story. The Lord be with you. And let's remember our Easter greeting. It's been a while, so I'll remind you. I say, the Lord is risen. And you say, Christ is risen indeed. The Lord is risen. Good job. Let's get ourselves ready to listen to the story. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. After Jesus died, and God made him alive again, his disciples continued to gather on Sunday, the first day of the week. The disciples were very excited because in this room, just one week before, Jesus had come and he had said to them, peace be with you. As my father has sent me, so I send you. Then Jesus breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. But Thomas was not there when Jesus came. And when the disciples told Thomas what happened, Thomas said, Unless I see and touch his hands, and feel the wound on his side, I will not believe. Then they closed the doors. And out of nowhere, 
someone appeared. Jesus said to Thomas, Thomas, look and touch my hands. See the wound on my side. Thomas looked and said, my Lord and my God. And Jesus said, you have seen and believed. Blessed are those who have not seen me and yet believe. At the beginning of the story, we talked about how Jesus breathed on the disciples and they received the Holy Spirit. I wonder what that was like to receive the Holy Spirit. I wonder how the people felt when Jesus said, as the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. I wonder why Thomas didn't believe the disciples when they told him what had happened. I wonder how the disciples felt when Thomas didn't believe them. After Thomas heard Jesus speak, I wonder why he said, my Lord and my God. I wonder why Jesus said that people who haven't seen him but believe in him are blessed. I wonder if there's anything in this story that you are wondering about. 